Welcome to part 14 of Resident Evil 4. Things are about to go foobar again. We might have to take control of the damsel in order to save the hero. And believe me, this can either be really, really frustrating or really, really quick, depending on how you go about it. I choose the quick options. I'm, I'm basically speed running through the section. Because <laughs> I, I don't want to be in control of Ashley for any longer than I have to. Because dying in one hit and being defenseless is not fun. Now, here's the strategy right here. You throw a grenade at that balcony, and you can actually take out one of the Ganados. Or Illuminados enemies. I keep calling them the Ganados. But basically, the creepy cult member will drop you to a lower section where you have to face off against a dozen other cult members. And it is tricky to get around. So you use the grenade to blow up the cult member, and it doesn't activate the cutscene that usually plays if you don't. Now the enemies are funneled in a straightaway, and I could not be any more happy about that. Haha, <laughs> time to die! Sorry, must have slipped. Do you say that every time Ashley trips over? Damn, Leon, you're a dick. <laughs> but now that we cleared out the room of Illuminados, we could actually search the area. You can get a lot of ammo back, but you can also get some valuables in here too. And also cause a massive amount of vandalism. You thought that running gag died with The Last of Us 2 LP. Yeah, I know. That was, um... That was like a year ago. No, that was like almost two years ago. Holy shit. And to think where this channel is now compared to then. Which is not really that far off if you really think about it. No, I'm kidding. My video quality has improved drastically since two years ago. So that's a plus. I'm also getting closer to 300 subscribers. That's a plus too. And another thing is, I am looking forward to my next couple of playthroughs coming up. I've been meaning to get to these two games for freaking eons now, but unforeseen circumstances. And I forgot to mention Jedi Fallen Order. I am still doing that. You might you might have seen an episode yesterday. <laughs> but I actually just finished recording the entire game, so it's only a matter of doing the voiceover for the rest of the parts. All I'm saying is, I'm excited for what the future holds for this channel because I'm thinking of a lot of crazy shit right now. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the head on this Chimera statue and finish everything up.
Time for Ashley's moment in the spotlight. She she dies in one hit. Yeah, and you can't even throw lanterns at enemies this time, so... Yeah. There is a way you can shorten this section to about five minutes if you know what to do. So, that's why I'm going to show off. Don't scare me like that. Oh, Ashley, you think that's scary? You're going to be freaking mortified after this. Alright, with this grandfather clock, you need to take a massive detour to find the right time to put the clock on. Luckily, you can memorize what the time is and just forego the detour, but you'll be missing out on secrets. The time does, however, change depending on the difficulty you play on. So for assisted and standard mode, the time is going to be 11.04, and for hardcore and professional, the time is going to be 7 o'clock on the dot. So just as long as you remember those two times and what difficulty you're playing on, that puzzle is a piece of cake. This next part, however, is bullshit. <laughs> Mainly because I can't defend myself. It's like I'm playing a damsel in distress or something. Oh, here it is. The night. I don't know, it's not like the armor can hear you. Or can they? This next part here, you have to dodge around the armor and get to the switches before they kill you. And you die in one hit, like I said a million times before, so you have to make sure your dodging skills are on point. It's also hard to see where the armors are coming from, so you have to deal with that nonsense too. Duck and weave, duck and weave. I'm getting the hell out of here. Fuck this place. Alright, the next puzzle is not that bad, actually. You just have to move a couple of lights and make sure the lights line up with the shapes on the wall. The heck? Okay, so we replaced the moon with this solid lantern here. We moved the moon lantern with the star lantern. And then we put the star lantern lantern where it belongs and with that we can get the Salazar family crest and get the hell out of here and quickly I might add because this will happen no no don't go out yeah, I've had enough of this I do not recommend running in front of the knights when they're still like that, because when you get near them, they'll bring their swords down. Oh, come on, there's a knight on the stairs too? This armor is actually hard to get around because he sort of tracks you a bit. Dodge it! Dodge it! Alright, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Just as long as you take advantage of the lazy arcs the armor makes when it turns, you should be fine. Alright, so we're going to go into the detour area I would have taken earlier had I not known what time it was. Because that's where the exit is, actually. These living armors you could just run by and not worry about getting stabbed. And that was the entire Ashley section in under 5 minutes. <laughs> Trust me, this section can be a lot longer if you make it longer. And more painful on yourself. Don't make it painful on yourself. Ashley, are you all right? Yeah. Give me a sec, I'll get you out. Hey! 
Try this. Can you make it down? I can catch you. Yeah, I think so. Sorry, nothing yet. But my little helper is creating quite the commotion. Everything will work out just fine. As long as you can keep your dog under control. He's a good boy. Predictable. Fine. Keep your mutt. But don't come crying to me if you get bit. Leon, changed your mind yet? Ada? Assuming you haven't, I've got a tip for you. Seems like something big is about to go down in the throne room. Babysitting's tough, huh? Hey, Ada! Ada! <sighs> Perfect. Same... ...as ever. Understatement of the year right here. Ashley's gone and we're back to square one. Might as well start back in the village. Damn it! Before I press on with the game, we can actually go back to where Ashley was just at and explore this area. Now that we can actually defend ourselves. But because I speed ran through that entire section, I won't be able to gain access to a couple of secrets that I missed. So, sucks to be me. Actually, not really. I could care less for the secrets at this point. I just want Ashley back. Alright, so this is the actual way to go if you want to get to the next area. And we have a new enemy type. Remember these guys? Yeah, they're just as annoying here. The Novistadors, the Unseen, are pretty weak. You can kill them in one shot with a shotgun, but they'll attempt to latch onto you. And they're just generally annoying to deal with because they fly in the air. But like I said before, the shotgun and the TMP are a good counter to their airborne antics. But I won't be dealing with those guys proper until the next part. I'm gonna go back into the basement. I wanna show off a boss fight that you might miss. Or at least it comes across as a boss fight because of how much health this stupid thing has. The living armor enemies will be deadlier now that I'm in control of Leon again. And this part is going to be fun because I may not get killed in one hit anymore, but these enemies still hit like bricks. So I gotta make sure my dodging and parrying is on point. Oh, well, living armor. Cool. You can't stealth kill it, so your best bet is to sneak attack it. Are you freaking serious right now? None of the shell hit the actual tentacles inside. There we go. Fuck. <laughs> There's another armor enemy somewhere in this library. There's the rust bucket. Ah, uh, great. I don't even have a good angle on this thing. 
time to run. Using the straightaways to my advantage here. There he is. He's kind of slow. I don't like the night enemies that much. They take way too many bullets to kill. And that's even when you're aiming at the weak spots. A spinel well earned. Now, this optional boss fight is going to be in the same chamber that Ashley was when she had to flick all those switches. The library has an upstairs area that I could have used Ashley to unlock, but I didn't, so meh. There are a couple of treasures up there. It's not really that big a deal unless you're looking for more money. And here, again, you needed Ashley to get a special type of key in order to get through this door. But that's probably something I can show off later on in one of the extra videos. Oh, there's nothing at all. Wasted so much of my time. <laughs> now, the boss fight is going to be in this direction. And I'm actually kind of nervous because this boss has a lot of health. Or it soaks up ammo at least, so I'm not sure if I have enough bullets to even take him on. I know my knife is barely clinging on for dear life, so we shall see. Running away from animated armor was one thing. Fighting these guys is something completely different. God damn golden armor. <laughs> now, this thing has a couple of different attacks that sets it apart from the rest of the sets of armor. Mainly this stab forward, which you can just run to the left or right in order to avoid. And then there's also this horizontal slash attack. With the horizontal slash, you can just duck underneath it. You don't need to parry that move at all. Then there's the vertical slashes that I just wasted a knife on. Yeah, this thing hits hard. What I need to focus on for right now are the Silver Knights in the area, because they will get in the way if I leave them alive. Oh, not good. I'm out of ammo for my good guns. It's time to be resourceful. Run around like a chicken with its head cut off. All I need to do is focus on the weak points and everything should be good. The problem is, the Golden Knight is extremely freaking squirmy. It's like every time I aim for the damn thing, I either miss or I hit the helmet by mistake. And also, this thing takes bullets like crazy, even if you do hit the weak point, so... I'm just gonna use a grenade! I don't even have a flash grenade either, that's the sucky part. Ugh, oh, thank god. Now I can take this thing on for another five minutes. Come on, come on, damn it! Oh shit, there goes my knife. And I'm completely out of knives too, so I'm gonna have to solely depend on dodging. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> that was close. Just gotta duck and die for this fight. That's actually one thing I miss about the Resident Evil 3 remake. In that game, whenever you press the circle button, Jill will, Jill will sort of swerve to the side. 
And that move was extremely useful on the third remake. <laughs> you can pretty much get through the entire game unscathed. And I can see why Capcom took the dodge out of this game. I mean, you already have a knife and you can parry stuff, but it would have been nice to have some sort of formal dodge too. There we go, I got a clear shot. What the hell is that? He turned around that quickly? Are you serious? And unlike the Gyarados where they get stunned after each attack to the back, these guys don't really get stunned too often. That was the exception because I already put 10,000 bullets into this guy. And he didn't stay staggered for long, what the fuck? At least it turns like a tank whenever it's not attacking, so I'll give it that. All that for a stinking yellow diamond. Cool. But at the very least, that's an errand down for the merchant. Oh yeah, the merchant wanted you to take out the Golden Knight. For some reason. I don't know why, maybe he just wanted the Golden Plate Armor to sell for a buck, but there was a Plagueis inside it. Well, it looks like I can't go to the altar area, so... Well, there's nothing else here, apparently. Except for some goodies, there are always goodies to be had in vases, or vases, however you pronounce the terminology. I always say vase because I'm not posh. Back upstairs. If you hear loud music in the background, then I do apologize. I am recording this on Memorial Day evening, and my neighbors are loud. <laughs> not that that's going to matter in the next minute because the video's almost over. Oh well, shit. Yeah, next time on Resident Evil 4, we're going to attempt to get Ashley back. Or die trying, I, I don't know which. It it's always something wrong with Leon and Ashley. It's like the two are meant to be separated. Took care of her a quest, did ya? I can tell by the look on your face. <laughs> well done. You've proven yourself reliable. 